Carter USA today it owes anywhere from 37338 to a, a federal loan compared to those who go to private colleges that owe $54,921. Of those people that owe this much amount of money, it takes them about 20 years to recoup or any pay any kind of loan back by the time they're in the profession after graduation. So is college worth it in this day and age of 2024? Is going to college really worth it? There's some benefits according to Ford's advisor. Any job profession that requires formal education that leads to leadership and executive management then may require a college education. College is worth it for those that are in going into a profession that requires some education, some training, a doctor, a lawyer, engineer, legal attorneys, and those areas definitely um, pharmaceuticals would need some kind of formal education that requires some higher level um, education that others may not require. So the flip side is college may not be worth it because especially most graduates will be graduating with some kind of debt if you either um, financially inclined or you have some kind of scholarship or you just have extra money lying around from your parents or your um, family that will be well worth it if you're not actually paying for it. And the other thing is you would the high and paying job that you're applying for would not be guaranteed or you won't be able to recoup that money, especially in healthcare. It'll take anywhere from 10 to 20 years to recoup that kind of money. And though you, although you make a higher income, you will take some time to recoup all your money that you spent on education. If I haven't said it right, I am not a financial advisor. My example, these videos are just for entertainment purposes so you can see what I've gone through. No way uh, I am including that this is a sound financial advice or legal advice at all. So first we'll look at a couple things. Uh, we already looked at number one, is college worth it? And number two, we'll look at the average student loan balance. And what's the attrition rate for students? I mean, they can't afford to pay for books and uh, fees, administrative fees, or even like um, library fees and gym fees, computer fee, lab fees. Then they won't be able to continue in the next semester or the next few classes that are required. According to USA Today, it owes anywhere from 37338 to a, a federal loan compared to those who go to private colleges that owe $54,921. Of those people that owe this much amount of money, it takes them about 20 years to recoup or any, pay any kind of loan back by the time they're in the profession after graduation. Those that do apply to schools, uh, we, we already know for a fact that full-time students are more likely uh, to succeed and follow through and finish college this is compared to the, those that go part-time well sometimes they do return but there's a high chance that those that go to full-time colleges will stay and graduate in a timely manner so let, let's look at those demographics so according to education data initiative.org you can find us on uh, the link in the description below those at the age of 35 or older are less like not graduate moreover uh, male college students are more like not graduate as compared to their female um, counterpart. Strangely enough, those who are economically challenged, socially challenged, they're more likely to graduate on time. And lastly, uh, the big de difference of East Coast versus West education data found that people that live in the West Coast are less likely to drop out and not graduate compared to those who live in North. I think that uh, data is skewed because there's more people per capita in West Coast compared to those that live in the Northeast. According to bank rate, 43.6 million Americans hold a federal student loan balance. Student loans are the second largest uh, debts, consumer debt. It's a, it controls about 9% of the consumer debt that we have today. Moreover, two in five or 44% of Americans believe they're not educated enough to understand the implications of taking out student loans. So how can we address this issue? Like I said way in the beginning, some professions do require some form of education, skill, training. So this begs the question, is college still really worth it? And that's what we're here for. According to Forbes Advisor, college students, as I mentioned, those that require certain skills would need those kind of professions. Any job profession that requires formal education that leads to leadership and executive management that may require a college education. And uh, the beauty of having a, a W-2 job or a regular job or a regular income job is you have all the health benefits, all the retirement benefits, and any kind of vision care, dental care that comes along with uh, being an employee. But that can happen if you don't graduate, you don't actually go to college. So 
to play the flip side of devil's advocate, then if you don't go to college, what happens? You will not have student loan debt. However, you're not guaranteed a high paying job, the education at skill level that's uh, required for that position. 58% of students actually that are enrolled in college earn a degree within six years as compared to a regular student that would graduate in four years. So what basically that means, most students graduate in six years as compared to a four year program. But what does this all mean? Um, I still believe college is um, something that you should go for or strive for, especially if you're applying for those certain professionals I spoke to about earlier. If this video has brought you value, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I make videos about personal finance, cost savings, and building a business online through entrepreneurship. Today we talked about student loans for those that uh, require getting a formal training or skill in their profession that they aim to be, then this will be the video for you. I appreciate everybody watching these videos. And I'll see you in the next one.